What's happening everybody? DIY Nerd Man here coming at you with another video about my solar power system. Today I want to discuss why I've got both a grid tied and an off grid solar power system on my house. But before I begin, I want to thank you for checking out this video. I really hope I provide information that is useful to you in satisfying curiosity or in helping you make decisions about plans for solar power or battery backup at your house. If you find this video valuable, I'd appreciate it if you'd follow my channel, maybe even drop a thumbs up. It helps motivate me to keep producing similar content, and more importantly, my teenage daughters make fun of me for having only a couple hundred subscribers or so, so that cannot stand. As you can see, I've got an array of solar panels mounted on my roof. This array of 14 panels produces a maximum of about 3,900 watts, and for the most part provides all the power I need for a typical day. Uh, with this system, my electric bill is typically between zero and $25 per month for about nine months out of the year. And with the other months falling somewhere between 30 and $60. For the past year, my total cost for electricity was about $200. This grid tied system is connected to a net metering setup with Southern California Edison. So I do get credit for excess power generated to a point, which actually usually amounts to about $25 a month. Um, the other panels you see here on my patio cover are off-grid, meaning there's no connection to my power meter or any direct connection to my home electrical grid. The connection goes directly from the solar panels to my Delta Pro units, where the energy is stored in batteries and then transformed from DC to AC power and fed to my smart home panel when needed. This is the underside of my patio cover panels. I've, I've shown this before in a couple other videos, um, but if this is your first time, just wanted to show kind of how I have it set up. Uh, I've got eight panels set up. It's basically two arrays of four, uh, and each one is in series, and it feeds the uh, one array of four goes to each of my two Delta Pros. And really, I just kind of ran it around the house. So I've got it up, up here. You can see the two, basically two circuits, positive and negative. And I run them around. It's definitely a uh, DIY nerd man type setup. Nothing pretty here, but it does the job. And goes right into my garage. This is where I've got my two Delta Pros set up. Just here on the shelf. And I've got the solar plugged in on the back of each one. Just one of those four panel circuits comes directly in here. Um, it does go through a switch. I do have a, a disconnect switch. That's where the, the, panel, the uh, circuits come in. Just go through the isolator so I can shut it off if I needed to. And then directly into the, uh, the two Delta Pros. I've got my smart home panel set up currently to shed load when power is most expensive for me, which is from nine, four to 9 p.m. I've been running this setup for a couple months now and my power bills have been zero for those two months. Uh, in the past, October, November, December have been some of the more expensive months since the sun's lower in the sky and uh, the grid tied system produces fewer kilowatt hours. Uh, as I said before, my bill prior to installing the smart home panel in Delta Pros was really only a couple hundred dollars a year. So this off-grid system with the panels and the Delta Pros will definitely not pay for itself uh, with those savings in the, within the next 10 years. Uh, but this brings us to the main reason I like having the off-grid portion of my home energy system. Uh, as I'm sure a lot of you know, but some of you may not know, when the power goes out on your local utility grid, the grid-tied solar panels on your house also stop producing power. This is a requirement to keep the utility workers safe to ensure solar power systems are not backfeeding the grid and endangering the workers while they repair the grid. So the inverters in your home solar system will shut off when they lose power from the grid. My Delta Pro Smart Home Panel system will continue to produce power or provide power to the circuits run through the Smart Home Panel even if grid power is down. The off-grid solar panels will continue charging the Delta Pros whenever the sun is shining. So with my, my two Delta Pros I have a little over seven kilowatt hours of battery storage. I've got that connected up here to 10 circuits uh, throughout my house. Uh, and and I, 
with this system, I could run a few circuits indefinitely, unless we had a long period of no sun, which is pretty rare here in California where I am. Uh, so what I would do, if, I, if there was a, a catastrophic event and the power grid was down for a couple weeks or longer, I would isolate the circuits. I might only run, uh, you know, the circuit for the refrigerator, um, circuit for some of the lights, you know, one for uh, some electronics so I can, you know, charge the devices, uh, you know, maybe have the TV on a couple hours a day, a few, few things like that. And, you know, with those solar panels uh, and, a, you know, enough sun every day, they could easily run for a few weeks. Uh, you know, just keeping those critical loads going. So that, that's the, the, the big reason that to me justifies the expense of the, the batteries and the additional solar panels is that they're, they're good to go. Even if the grid is down for some reason, they'll continue to charge my batteries, which can continue to feed my house through every, whichever uh, circuits I decide to, to keep active. Well, thanks again. I truly appreciate you checking out my videos. Again, thanks to those who subscribe. Thanks a lot for any thumbs up. Uh, hit me up with a comment if you have any questions about the way I did things. I'd be happy to, to let you know whatever I, whatever I can do to help. I'm not uh, an expert, but uh, I have learned a lot over the past uh, two or three years. I've been messing around with uh, solar on the house and then messing around with these Delta Pros and Smart Home Panel. So hey, have a great day, everybody. We'll uh, see you all next time.